Rolf Rooker here at PAX Unplugged 2019, and generally, we're not strangers of video games entering the board game world, it's nor are we strange of games on Kickstarter, and we have a game that's both of those. Oh, yeah. Divinity Original Sin, which is on Kickstarter now, is a game based on the Divinity series. Unfortunately, neither of us have played the Divinity video game series, but we were able to play the Divinity board game. That's right. So we can't comment on how it translates any of that stuff to the tabletop forum. We can definitely talk about the game a little bit. So uh, it's a role-playing simulation, certainly. Each player has their own character. You have different abilities. You have cards. You have stats, all that stuff. And and the game takes place around this circular board that will have different locations on it. And in the first phase, everyone can go out and explore one of those little locations, which are cards. And then you'll take turns reading the backs. So there'll be some story, and something might happen. And then, generally, there's probably going to be a combat encounter. Enemies will come out at the different places. And if that happens, then the board transforms into a battle arena. And now, for instance, if you're one space away from someone from a location to your left or right, that's like one range if you have a ranged attack that you can play. Or movement. Right, or movement as well. And those, uh, the way that attack work, attacking works with your cards, you know, they go on a cooldown system, uh, they have a lot of very intricate effects, and everyone is also very asymmetrical. You have all your own uh, abilities going on. We actually play with presets, but in the game you'd actually customize yourself and do a lot of different things, like yeah. I was more of a knight, Jonathan, you were a bit of more of an elemental wizard kind of deal, oh, throwing yeah. lots of fire I was knights. setting things on fire, baby. It was non lethally <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, mm, But sometimes. in this game, that's interesting also is a lot of these locations may say, like, if this is noted in your journal, which, like, one or two or three, read this card instead. Because, for example, we had the option to either deal with beasts or thieves after we explored the town and found out there's some problems going on. We dealt with the thieves. But if we continued playing, we probably would find out that the beasts invaded the town, which could have caused issues. But they did tell us if we didn't deal with the thieves, the marketplace might be empty because they robbed all the market, all the barter, not barter, traders coming in with right. items. None of this is spoilers, by the way. This is only for the demo, so don't worry if you're going to play it. But yeah, this is a campaign game, so you will play through it, and you'll keep a track of all your stuff that you do, all your stats, your new items that you get. Uh, you get to make choices at certain points, like you said, with those locations, but even in a larger sense as you go there may be big decisions your group has to make um, and one of the really interesting things is there's a lot of synergy with everything whether it's opponents or you the locations could have this deals an extra damage to range or if you use a range unit you actually maybe have more resistance against range because ideal the area has cover or something uh, the uh, oh, status effects are really interesting like for example being lit on fire will actually be doused off if someone uses like the rain spell and that has the water condition. There's also the oil condition, for example, which all of a sudden lets you light someone on fire very easily. <laughs> it makes it so even they better. definitely work with each other that way you can do some weird combos. For example, I like I'm able to knock people down I played the knight and I was able to knock people down and also like sunder them, I think was the word, which lowered resistances, which means it made it easier for you to light them on fire or something. You yeah. on the other hand could literally just shoot oil on an area, but there's also a lot of area effects, which does have friendly fire, so you have to be careful there, which is another interesting little... I got our party a little oily at one point. <laughs> it was worth it. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff like that. You know, that synergy, like you said, in the back and forth, how should I play this and that. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, you, roll, you do ultimately roll dice to determine damage, but you can use some of those symbols for damage or for special abilities to trigger. Uh, there's also a token you can use to re-roll, which we learned is very dangerous because it could result in more enemies coming up eventually yeah, I hurting there's you. something very specific from the game. I think they're called like the Void Awaken. The Void Woke. The void the void Woken, Woken. Yes. Yeah. Very, very annoying little creatures for us. And I'm sure they're the basic versions of them. <laughs> right, yeah, you know? they probably get worse. But, I mean, I, I went into this totally blind, nothing about the video game, didn't even look at the Kickstarter that's up right now, but I knew it was very successful and had a, came away very impressed. This is like my kind of game. I think that the... I love the way that they managed to take something that feels like almost as big as a game like a Gloomhaven or any of these RPG dungeon crawlers, but you don't need all these map tiles or anything. It's just one board, circle, cards on it, very easy to set up, very easy to put away, but it has the same, I thought, epic level feel to it. You choice to have consequences, which means you have to think more. I mean, if you played the story of Divinity, I'm sure you're going to be very happy with that and probably could roleplay a little better than we did. We were both lizard people, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it but was great. I don't know how they're how they act in the gay world, if they're aggressive or they're... Because I was the Red Prince, and it did say I was noble and, like, stonward, so it sounded like, I think I'm nice, but you were an outlaw. Yeah. So, no <laughs> idea how they're supposed to play. So you can get into that as deep as you want to. The combat system was really interesting with the way that you could bank action points. 
to use them again later. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait until I can get 10 because then I can do my regular attack plus the Sunder so I can weaken them, then smack them in the head kind of deal. There are still some things they're tweaking a bit on this, so I don't know. It's literally on Kickstarter, so yeah, yeah there's nothing final here. So I want to make sure that that was clear because I don't know if they're going to change this or not, but what happened, I guess, unconveniently with the third person we were playing with got like the worst luck doing this rolls and just died, like got knocked out. And what happens is you finish the entire combat and if everyone lived, you stand back up, which is good. But he pretty much sat there for a good solid like. I definitely think that's and because that's like not, the, well, it was bad luck. It was bad. No, there was a bit bad of bad luck, luck yeah. and hopefully like either gear will be added in a way that fixes that, or they can help. I'm sure as a bit you more, go, you, if people know more about the game, he can, he can be the one to be like, okay, or he or she, like you can do the dodging. Why don't you do the range, and that could help with that kind of synergy. So that was the one thing that scared me a little I bit. I think it's inevitable. With look, it's an RPG. You're rolling dice. You might die. Like it That's can, true. it is possible to happen. But you're not, you're not like permanently dead. Yeah, I liked all of it. I'm really excited to see because we, you know, we really only scratched the surface of what's possible with the story content. Right. And it's, it's we didn't even see bosses. Right. There's bosses we didn't get to see. They actually have their own deck instead of the monsters. Usually, you just like you roll a die and they're like they attack or heal. The monsters are gonna have a deck just like you, so they'll have their own feel to them. Of course, their own action point system like that. So the, and they're going to move around the board. When the, I don't think the enemies usually moved as much. So Right. But I'm excited to see exactly how the story goes. And like, again, you'll be able to play through the campaign multiple times and you make different choices to see different things, which is always cool. It's not a legacy game. So Take out those beasts first instead. Everything is uh, replayable. So Divinity Original Sin, uh, if you're watching this right now, it's still got a week or two left on Kickstarter, so go check it out. And if you're someone who's played the video game, let us know what you think or any other person. It's okay in the comments down below. Here's an idea. Support our Patreon or like and subscribe to this channel for more. Subscribing gives you a plus two to your charisma stat.